Hi guys, we just got to our Paris Airbnb. It is, I think it's like 11.30 p.m. on Saturday, June 18th. <coughs> just got in and I'm gonna do a quick room tour and show you what our Airbnb looks like. So here's what it looks like. Here's the door, walk in, and here is the living room. So we've got this nice couch, tables, TV, big windows, and we've got kitchen super cute marble lots of different appliances coffee maker and then we have where's the light nope oh um there we go and then we have the bathroom so nice and clean and here is the shower love the black trimmed glass it's so nice. And then, here is the entrance to the bedroom. It's pretty small, but very cozy. Love the neutral color scheme of the entire apartment. But yeah, that is our Paris Airbnb tour. But yeah, I'm sweating now. I'm gonna shower and go to sleep immediately because we have an early morning tomorrow. So I will talk to you guys in the morning. It is Europe day four, Paris day one. It is around like 7.30 a.m. right now and we're getting ready to head out to go to Café de Flore and we're probably gonna go see the Eiffel Tower later today. We're gonna see the Louvre and do a bunch of other sightseeing around Paris. So let's go. It looks really good. Mm. Mm. Chocolate is so good. This is a big croissant. Mm. We can. Yeah, I'm honestly, we can. And go grab our jacket. Yeah, because yeah, I'm going to throw on my clothes. Hi guys! So it has been quite a while since I chatted with you. Today is Tuesday, June 21st. It's around 5 p.m. right now and we are in Paris, but we are about to leave unfortunately, which is so sad. It's our third day here and we're gonna be going on a flight soon later tonight to head to Venice. So that'll be our first stop in Italy and then we're gonna go to Rome and Positano. Um, but yeah, so we're in Paris right now, but we're getting ready to leave. We all just showered and are packing our bags to head to the airport, but I feel like I have so much to catch you up on. Like I haven't been talking in my vlogs as much as I wanted to just because we've just been on the go constantly. We haven't really had a large amount of time to just like sit and chill and relax. So I haven't had time to really talk to you, but I'm gonna do a little recap. I think the last time I talked to you was when we were about to leave our London Airbnb, and that was like three days ago. So I have a lot to catch you up on. So we landed in Paris pretty late that night. I wanna say like 11 p.m. And then we actually only slept maybe like two to three hours that night because we had a really early morning because the next day we got up early to try to get to Cafe de Flore by 7.30 a.m. which is when they open. Cafe de Flore was actually really good. I've heard mixed reviews about it. I mean, I only got a hot chocolate and a croissant, but they were the best hot chocolates and croissants I've ever had, honestly. The hot chocolate was the most decadent and richest hot chocolate ever, and it was made out of dark chocolate too, which I love, because I love dark chocolate more than milk or white chocolate. And the croissant was so flaky and buttery and huge. <coughs> I was honestly full just off of the hot chocolate and the croissant and then after that i think we headed back to our apartment to get changed because we had to head to the louvre at 11. and the louvre was very crowded but so cool so cool to actually see these works of art in real life
but we didn't even get to see like half of the museum just because the Louvre is huge there's no way you can finish all of that in like the two hours that we were there I think we only went to like one or two floors and just with that alone we were exhausted so after the Louvre we went back to our Airbnb to change take a nap, rest a little bit, and then we went back out to go to Pink Mama for dinner, which is this really yummy Italian restaurant. They have a lot of Italian foods. I know we're going to Italy next, but the view there is what really caught our eye because they have this like upstairs section with these wide open glass windows and just like this huge gallery wall with all these different artworks and the view there is just so stunning plus we were there around sunset time so it was even more incredible the food there was also really good i got this like grilled octopus it was kind of like a salad with like grilled octopus on top and it was so yummy and it was also hilarious because tia and i both ordered drinks we got these mules and it was just so funny because of the cups that they came in because the cups were boob cups and we had no idea they were gonna come in these cups so that was hilarious but then unfortunately there was oranges in the mule so i couldn't drink it so i had to take it back and instead i got like a mojito so then tia was the only one left with the boob cup <laughs> and then afterwards we went back to the hotel to meet up with kylie because she stayed back for dinner because she wasn't feeling too well and went out to pont alexander uh, alexander the third it's this really nice gorgeous bridge with a great view of the eiffel tower and we were trying to go there for sunset unfortunately we were a little bit too late because the sun had already gone down but we did make it in time to see the eiffel tower sparkle for the first time <laughs> it did start raining actually while we were out and it was like thundering and there was lightning But luckily the rain wasn't like too crazy but i will tell you what is crazy is this video that kylie got of you'll just see just just watch this video did you guys see that like she literally got a video of lightning striking the eiffel tower how insane is that and like what are the chances of you actually capturing that on camera and like to witness that in person was the craziest thing i was even thinking like oh i don't even know if we should go out because i feel like it's gonna rain the photos aren't gonna be that good but now i'm like thank goodness we went out that night so that was day one of paris and then on to day two we went to disneyland paris We're at Disney World, but it's so cold outside. It's like 59 degrees. So we came into one of the Disney stores to try and find a jacket, a sweatshirt or something because we are freezing. I'm not crazy about the green, but yeah, me neither. I like the flowers. Okay, I decided I'm not gonna get one. I will just tough it out. I have my rain jacket. It's not great at keeping me warm, but it's something. Also because I don't really have space in my suitcase, so I'll just suffer a little. Tia got this sweatshirt, which is actually super cute. I was considering getting this too, but like I said, I don't have space, but it's so cute. Kylie got the same one. Yay! But is that for your mom? Yeah. Yeah, super cute. Let's see, so first we started off at the Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast. We do have that one in California, I believe. And that's the one where you just like shoot lasers. And for some reason, I completely suck at that game. I literally don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm shooting. 
I got the lowest score out of all of us. <laughs> and then after that, we went to the Alice in Wonderland section. So they have like this maze and that was really cool to walk through. It felt like you were, you know, in Alice in Wonderland. To rode on the Mad Hatter teacup ride. I do get motion sick though, so I made sure to take Dramamine beforehand. And then after that, we went over to the other side of the park, which is the Walt Disney Studios side. And over there is where we went on the Ratatouille ride, which they don't have at California, but I think they might have it at Disney World. And it's more of a like immersive storytelling type of ride. You sit in the carts and the carts are like mice. So it's like you're a mouse going through the kitchen with Remy. And we also went on Indiana Jones and the Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland Paris is very different from the one in California if you've ever been to that one. The California one is also more of an immersive storytelling experience. You're like riding the vehicle and you're like kind of going through the story but the Disneyland Paris one is more of a roller coaster like outside like a legit roller coaster but I didn't know that or like I did know that but what I didn't know is that there was a loop. And actually, I did vlog that portion, so I'll insert that here. We have been going around Disneyland. We've been riding a bunch of rides. We did like maybe three or four, and we just got off the Indiana Jones ride. So we're standing in line, la la la, and then finally when we get to the front, I see that there's a loop. And if you know me, you know that I do not do roller coasters. I get very motion sick. So when I saw that, immediately started freaking out. I was like, I can't do this, but obviously we were there at the front. I just had to do it. And I did it. <laughs> I just kept my eyes closed the entire time though. So like I feel like I didn't really experience it. I didn't even know when the loop was honestly because my eyes were closed. But I did it. And honestly, it wasn't too bad. So that completely took me by surprise. And I just literally closed my eyes the entire time because if I'm looking and I have my eyes open, that's when I get the most freaked out. And that's when I get really sick. So I just closed my eyes the whole time and it actually helped a lot. The ride was over before I knew it. Would I do it again? Maybe. Would I open my eyes? Probably not. But I'm glad I did it. So then after Disneyland, we took the train back and it turns out that we ended up right under the Arc de Triomphe. <laughs> Triumph is a bit further away from our Airbnb compared to a lot of the other sites and things so it wasn't really on our itinerary we weren't planning to go there but thankfully the train station stopped right under there so luckily we got to see the arc we were trying to get under it like right below the arc but I think you have to pay to get there we were like walking for I don't know how long, but all the ways that we were going, we still ended up across the street. So yeah, we only saw it from afar, but I'm so happy that I got to see it. Then afterwards, we came back to the Airbnb, got changed, and then headed out again right away to grab dinner. So we ended up going to Monsieur Blue. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. It was actually pretty good. At first, I thought the portions were really small, but I was actually 
pretty satisfied by the end of it. I don't really remember exactly what I got, but it was kind of like a little salad. The weather was also pretty good that day. At dinner time, the weather like really cleared up and it was so pretty because the sun was setting and it was nice and cool and we weren't like sweating our asses off. So then after that, we had bought champagne on the first day and we brought that to watch the sunset by the Eiffel Tower. So we found this little spot on the sand and we just like laid out a blanket there. We brought a, we brought a blanket from our Airbnb and just chilled there, took some photos during sunset, and it was just such a dream. incredible literally a dream come true it was just one of those like pinch me moments you know because it's like something that I had been dreaming about doing for like how many months now and then finally being able to do it was just so unreal so we chilled there for a while waited about an hour for the Eiffel Tower to sparkle because it sparkles every hour on the hour for five minutes so that was day two and then now day three which was today Today we went to the Palace of Versailles, so we did a tour there. We got to learn all the history about like King Louis, we got to see the Hall of Mirrors and all of the state apartments. crowded though because today is a Tuesday and apparently Tuesdays are like the busiest days for the palace because the Louvre is closed on Tuesdays so everyone's going to the palace instead but still really glad that I got to see everything and then we came back and we went to the Eiffel Tower so we bought some like macarons and like pastries while we were at the palace and took them to the Eiffel Tower to enjoy <laughs> You're all caught up. We showered, packed our bags, and now we're getting ready to head to the airport. We have about 15 minutes until we have to leave. And then we'll be off to Italy. Bye, Paris. You were so pretty. So we've got a full day ahead of us again but I hope you're excited for the vlogs. Hope you've been enjoying the vlogs so far. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Please leave a comment down below, like this video, subscribe for more travel vlogs and just other vlogs from me and I will see you in my next one. Bye.